Okay. Kidding me? Hello, 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 hello. Good morning, and welcome to. Okay, I'm live. Good. Um, <laughs> welcome to day two of the Craft Alive Online Greater International Craft Show. So, hello, Joanne. Today, uh, as part of our fantastic event our online event we have got some fantastic specials for you over at nataliemay.com.au uh, we have got 15% off today on our stencils we've got 15% off of our dyes 15% off of Vicky Booten products and Tim Holtz as well this does exclude classes, kits, and events, um, and your discounts are automatically applied at the dis at the checkout. So there we go. Huge special for today only. If you placed an order yesterday, luckily for you, you can add to your order just by uh, just by clicking no judgment at the checkout. Just a friendly reminder: postage is eleven ninety five for your first order. And then you can select no judgment on subsequent orders after that. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am going to do another art journal page with you today. Now, art journaling, I know, is not for everyone. But the techniques that I'm doing on my art journal are for everyone. So that is fantastic. So whatever I'm doing today, you need to transfer over to your chosen sport. So as part of the free workshops that I'm doing uh, all weekend, yesterday and today, don't forget you can do these techniques on cards, you can do these techniques on scrapbooking layouts, you can do these techniques in your art journals. There's so many different ways that you can do these things. So what I wanted to do, the challenge was set with from my wonderful staff is to use these two stencils by Funky Fossil and to use these stamps by Funky Fossil. So this is part of their Checkmate collection designed by Zinsky Art and they are really awesome quirky little images that are hand drawn with the matching stencils to go with. So what I have done, i put my glasses on, what I did a little earlier is I have pre-stamped our images just onto a heavier duty cardstock and I have stamped them in black archival ink and now I'm going to quickly watercolour them so I can let those watercolours dry while I work on my art journal page. Righty-o. So I'm going, I've chosen to use my Altenew watercolour paints here. Um, a couple of things that you need to have handy, and I will zoom up in a moment, but a couple of things that you need to have handy when you are watercolouring is paper towel, paint brushes that are worthy of your time. Be a grown up, buy the nice paint brushes. These ones are the Altenew paint brushes, and they're a really lovely set of five paint brushes. You'll find them in our tool section and they are gorgeous for this purpose. I will be using this size and this size, uh, and I really, really love these. You will be, you'll love these as well. Um, they're not expensive, but they are not the ones that you let your kids use. So what I wanna do with my alternate watercolors is I'm just going to wet them down first. And just to make sure that I'm getting some nice colour, I'm just going to zoom up so you guys can catch what I'm doing. If you get dizzy, look away now. Just highlight how dirty my watercolour palette is. Crikey. Um, okay, so I'm just going to quickly go through and really loosely colour my, my little images here that I have got. 
So I might just pop this guy down here so that we have a nice little workspace. These images, if you have someone, like these are great for masculine cards. They've kind of got this grumpy man sort of situation going here as well. Um, and I'm going to go through and do, kind of do a bit of bulk colouring. So kind of do a little bit of, one, three, two. I'm going to do a, a few things do my browns all at once. So I use my palette on the side here, just like this. Where is my, there we go. And I'm gonna go through and uh, add the base here. So I'm super loose with my water coloring. I am more than happy to have a little bit of white showing when I do my watercolouring. I think that it it shows that you've coloured it yourself. I'm, I'm not an edge to edge person. I much prefer to go loose and rather than being super accurate. I think that that works really, really well. Um, I had, Kasha and I kind of looked at these stamps and these stencils and between the two of us, brainstormed a bit of an idea. I'm going to mix some colours together here too just to mix it up a bit um, and came up with a little bit of a design for this art journal page because my brain hasn't quite kicked in this morning. How's everybody's day going where you are? Oh there's a few of you watching. Good morning girls. So 15% off of stencils today and yesterday we had a different special, so you can take advantage every day to get the most, and we won't be shipping until Monday, Tuesday. Uh, if you are a local customer and you wanna pick up your order, your order will be ready to collect from Wednesday. Uh, if you are in Adelaide and you wanna pop in for a shop, you are welcome to do so, but the specials are online only, okay? So we totally encourage you to come in um, after the event and shop because the place looks like a bomb has hit it. So I'm just adding some brown across the bottom so that I know that the bases of all of my chest pieces here are all colored. Now I'm also gonna go through and do some little faces now because I think that that's the next thing that I will make consistent. So I don't have a skin tone here morning Jackie, morning Mel, hello Karen. All right, so I'm gonna grab this gold, which is way too gold, right? But what I can do with watercolors is I can start creating a new color. So I've brought in some white there, I've got a, a freckle of pink here, and I've started to create a new color. Now, once I add this to my, my little chess people here, with a lot of, you can kind of tell that I've got a lot of water on my brush and that's really important. So now I'm just going to get this on here and loosely color. So admittedly, it's a lovely little light shade and I'll leave a little bit more color in the cheek department. And I'm gonna grab a bit of pink just to give him rosy cheeks. And I'm not gonna do any more blending, but I'm just gonna let that, can you see him? I'm just gonna let that dry just like that, all right? And pop it aside. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Clean off my brush, dip into my little palette here, keep his eyes white. So at this point I'm thinking, oh heck, that's a little bit orange. But that's okay because I can use my paper towel, clean off the excess and just grab it and drag it. Grab some of this pink, drop it in on his little marks under here. And this bit, you know, doing this colouring is really, I find this really relaxing. Especially when you don't want to think about, you know, overthink it too much. You just want to get it done. 
and going really loose works really, really good. Oh, a bit more pink, so I need a bit more pink over there. Morning, Angela. So I see some familiar faces. A few girls did a, a few of you girls did a couple of orders overnight, um, adding to your collection of crafty goods. Don't forget, you can also join our Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. And what that means is you can get in into that community and you can share your creative pieces. You can, it's a safe environment where you can get in and you can share your work. You can have a look at what everybody else is creating. You can enter a monthly competition and go in the draw to win a $25 gift voucher to spend online, uh, which is very, very cool. Uh, we, uh, we run competitions. It's, it's, it's a safe place where we work to to encourage each other and to, to to just you know embrace each other okay so please have a look up at Natalie May scrapbooking community all right I'm going to start coloring my images now I'm going to I feel that he's a little bit royal this guy right so start with let's make his crown gold he has a golden crown And he's sitting on a chair, he's sitting on a throne. So I'm just gonna get that in there. And what's also happening here is that I'm not, I'm letting things dry in between. That's why you can see that I'm using this technique of doing everything in kind of one color, then moving on to my next image. Just because I want to make sure that it's dry before going on to the next color. So I, when the colour bleeds a little bit, if it's a bit wet and watery, it's, it's dry before I put the next one on and I'm not going to get colours that bleed into each other, uh, if that makes any sort of sense. Did that make sense, Kasha? Because I know you're listening. No, she's not listening. She's in the room next to me. So yes, we are very proud of our, uh, of our community. I am a... Firm, firm believer in lifting each other up and sharing the love around with our with our crafting community. So please look up the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. Yes, it's quite a mouthful. Uh, but the idea is, is, is we share the love around, okay? Radio. so I'm on the right track here. Uh, this guy, let's go back to him. I think I want to colour him in like a more of a like a, a, a royal purple blue sort of situation. So I'm going in here mixing a little colour and now I'm going to get it on like Donkey Kong as we say. Right. Just doing that, just getting that colour on in a nice wash and you can see that it's quite it's going on nice and smooth because I've got a lot of liquid on my brush. So now I can get in here with a deeper colour and create a little bit of shading. Oh, what's going on there? I need a new brush. Hang on a minute. Hold that thought. My very well used brush is starting to... Um, be overly well used. All right, let's go back in here. So I want to add some shading. So I'm just going in with a bit of a, a bit of a purple, a bit of a darker blue in a couple of these areas here. Very rarely do I put the colour straight onto the card. I would normally just test it a little by putting it onto my palette. Then I know what I'm working with, and I'm using my paper towel here just to take off any excess but these little loose bits here kind of create a little bit of a shadow and then we've got a little bit going on with him so I kind of like that there we go happy with that uh, this guy here I feel like he could be in a 
a blue, maybe a bit more towards a, a lighter blue. All right, and uh, perhaps a little green with it too. Yeah, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off here and just go in like that. And it's quite a light colour here. I knew you wouldn't be able to help yourself. You had to come in and have a look, didn't you, Tash? Mm -hmm. They are very, very cute little images. Except for I think he's probably got a bit of a red robe going on, but you know what? I'm not going to get in there with that detail today. So quite often the other thing that I do, um, and this is, you know, me doing this versus you guys doing this, is I look on the internet for inspiration. Similar images done with, um, or similar projects done with these sorts of designs. I'm not reinventing the wheel, and I said that yesterday. Um, it's really important that we, you know, we look around for inspiration and ideas, uh, and I, I do do it too. I, I found a, an image this morning of these images that somebody had watercolored, and I went, yeah, okay, this is giving me a really good base and a, and a place to start. You don't have to come up with your own ideas every single time. But what we do is we turn these ideas into our own. We put our spin on it. So this idea this morning, the image that I found on the interwebs, was an image just of some of these watercolored people. And I went, right, perfect. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watercolor my images this morning. So you can do that. So this is what these little free videos are about. It's about giving you a start on how to how to use these products. All right, he's good. And this is like, that's the, I don't know what that piece is called. I know nothing about chess, absolutely nothing. I'm gonna go in here with something a little bit earthier. I want to say it's a castle, but it's not a castle. Of course it's not a castle. That would be way too obvious. Someone's going to give me the name, aren't you, girls? What's the piece called that I'm working on for those chess players in here? Because I know there's a few of you around. Not me. Susan Terry would know about this. Where are you, Susan? The lovely Susan Bellamy. Surely, surely. So now I'm just dipping into some of this brown and I'm mixing it into here to create a darker shade of brown. Still dipping into my water because we're using watercolors. And I'm gonna go in here, give that a little bit more depth for that cute door. Night. Thank you, Sonia. Now that isn't, isn't, that the night? I don't know. Or well, maybe this, okay, I'm just gonna take your word for it because again, I have no idea what I'm talking about. No idea at all what I'm talking about. All right, but I do know about color and about doing these little sorts of things. And this is what makes my, my little heart happy. And I'm just popping some orange over the top because I found here that it just didn't have enough definition. All right, and I feel like that little bit there should be. Rook, I don't know, it's hard to, I don't know. And that's okay. Done, done, done. And I'm gonna do the little horse. And the little horse is going to be a little bit more orangey brown based, I think. So that's a lot of colour on there. So while it's wet, I can spread it around a bit and take a little bit of that colour off. So watercolouring is super simple. And when I bring it up to camera in a minute, you're going to see that there is, you know, it's quite messy and loose. 
But that's okay because that's what my art journal is all about. It's about messy and it's about being a little loose because it's a creative process, yeah? Okay, I feel like she's the queen and she needs to be in a different colour. Uh, so I'm going to go with a little bit of this red, orange, pinky sort of situation here. I feel that she needs to stand out from the boys. So what is definitely making this work for me is this beautiful fine paintbrush. A fine paintbrush is giving me the details. It's allowing me to put on the right amount of colour where it needs to be. And that's really important. So now I'm just mixing up my own colour. So her little sleeves have got a little pop of colour in there. I haven't done her hair. I haven't done her hair. What colour is her hair? And I haven't done his shield. Come back to that. I think she's... I think she's got a little bit of a brown tinge to her hair. It's not grey like mine. So today um, I've got two more live Facebooks free little mini classes coming your way. Haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do yet, but let's be honest, I'm sure it's going to be super fun and you're going to enjoy it just the same. Um, so 1.30, I'm coming back again for some more. I'm going to pop a little bit of pink up in here to balance because I've got pink here, I've got pink in their cheeks. Oh, I haven't done his chair. Um... I need to do that. Right, happy with that. Let's come back to this dude. I feel like he needs to have a different colour in his crown. I'm going for a bit of a green tinge here. Dun, 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 dun. That works for me. The side of the chair can be brown or dirty brown, as the case may be. Uh, and I'm going to go with a little bit of a kind of a pinky brown sort of chair. It's ending up being a very light burgundy. I will bring these all up to camera in just a moment so you can have a look at how detailed they are coloured. Or, as the case may be, how detailed they are not coloured. Because they do not have to be absolutely perfect. But what is making this work is using a thin, fine paintbrush. Okay, I think I'm there. I don't think I've missed any bits. I do feel like I need some rosy cheeks on my horse, though. I feel like he's missing a little bit of, there we go, happy days. Close it before I fiddle around. All right, let's bring these up to camera and have a bit of a look. Here is my horse. So you can see here on the back of my wrinkled hand, it's not super detailed. And just adding in that little bit of blush on his cheeks has worked. Here is our king. Okay, just a nice amount of colour on him. Here is our queen in all of her beauty and all of her glory. I haven't overworked my watercolours. I have just been a little lazy. A bit like my cutting out there. Actually, that's Kasha's cutting, let's be honest. And then we've got this guy who I really like. I love the eye roll. And then our, I don't know, our religious man, who might be my favourite. Okay, so I'm going to pop those aside to dry and I'm going to work on my art journal page now. Oh. Okay, I'm using my craft journal again because it's the one left over from my lives yesterday. So yesterday we did these two pages. So if you want to go back and watch those, please do 
you um, you can scroll back down or you can look them up on my YouTube channel. Um, now, I've just realised I need... Sorry, guys. Sorry about my arm coming across screen. I just need to transfer these over to here because I need my mat. Done. Sliding out the way. And I'm taking them away so I don't accidentally get paint on them because, you know, that's a Natalie thing. Right, these are the two stencils that go with this collection. So we have got, and chairs and, um, sorry, and stencils conveniently are 15% off today. This one is called Chess Pieces, and this one is called Check It Out. Right, what I'd like to do here is I am going to build up a background using these stencils. So I'm going to, I've chosen some colours here with my, with my, I've got Dilutions paints and Art by Marlene paints today are going to be my choice. Oh no, and I do have a, I do have a Dina Wakeley paint here. Right, so this colour is called Desert Sand. We, it was out of stock. It is back in stock again. This colour is called Tobacco. Now, I've chosen these colours because they are very similar to our background, uh, the background of our craft, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these two colours together, but I'm going to start with using my blending tool with the lighter colour. And I'm going to put this on my background. And then I'm going to grab that darker colour. So just wiping it on, wiping it off. Kasha, are you in your office? Just when I've run out of paint, I can't find a staff member. Now, I have not pre-gessoed my page at all. I have gone with... just a, a dry page and these these journals can be a little bit thirsty so what I mean by that is they do soak up the paint fairly well so you can see that I'm starting to get this impression here and I'm going to turn it in the background I'm only going to do a single page I'm going to take some down into here and I'm not adding any more paint to my, here we go, that one there. So I've created this interesting background using, using colours that are very similar because I don't want it to be too overpowering, okay? I don't want it to stand out like nothing else. Um, I'm going to take that and just take any excess paint off because I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to use the same sponge. Heaven forbid I actually clean the stencil as I go because that's a novelty, isn't it? The horse is the knight. So I'm just reading the comments while I'm doing this. Somebody tells me... The, the horse is the the horse is the knight. Okay. I would have thought the guy with the shield was the knight. Anyway, that's okay. Radio. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this guy here, and I'm going to do some checkerboard across the bottom. So across the bottom, I want to use something a little bit darker. So I have got Knight by Dina Wakeley. What did I do with my, oh, for goodness sakes, Natalie, I just cleaned that sponge off, I have to get another one, and I put it in a safe place, okay, anyway, so across the bottom, I'm going to do checkers across the bottom, all right, with night, so rather than just getting a big glob on here, I am putting it on and then taking it off. 
just so that it doesn't bleed through. So this is a common thing that happens with stencils, right? People get all a bit heavy handed on the paint. So just remember that you can build up. It's a lot easier to build up than it is to take off, yeah? So if I am going to add it, I'm gonna put it on a small amount and then I can come back in and go, oh, well that needs to be a bit thicker. I can lift up my stencil and see if it's enough. The bishop, the guy with the shield is the bishop. You are accurate. Right, and now I'm gonna line this up. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way, because you know, that would have been obvious. And I'm gonna extend it. Love a good, love a good discussion about chess pieces on a Friday morning. All right, done. Happy with that. There's, I could also offset this and go that way now. Do I want to do that? No, I don't. Let's not overdo it. It'll be too strong. Okay. Done. Just for you know shits and giggles. Let's let's clean my stencil. Sorry, I swore. Um. So what's everybody else up to on this lovely Friday? It is a perla day here in Adelaide um, and it looks lovely outside my window, but I'm choosing to hang out in here with you guys all day. Okay. Good thing is it's not super wet and it's not taking too long to dry. The religious one is the bishop. The guy with the shield is the pawn. Got it. All right. I'm going to pop my people across here, but I wanted to pop this stencil in the background, but it has to be, I'm thinking the right height. Dun, 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 dun. So go about there. Radio. Colours I've chosen are Heaven by Art by Marlene and Police by Art by Marlene, which is my favourite blue. And it's going to end up being a nice casual little mix of both of these colours. I really quite like them together. And this is an excellent idea in my head, by the way. Because they need to be anchored. So let me just have a little think about this again. So they're anchored on this. So I might end up building on this bit here and we're gonna layer them like that and like that. So maybe I need to go a little higher. I need to go about there. Right, okay. Colors. So I'm gonna take these two colors here and I'm gonna mix them together to make and the cool thing is, if the colours don't work, I just peel the stencil back. Sorry, I can't talk. And So working in a, in a round circular motion. It is a very thirsty paper in this Art by Marlene journal. Sorry, this Dina Wakeley journal. Yeah, I like that. I feel like it could be darker though. Um, so you do need to have an awareness of how much paint you're using because it is a thirsty, thirsty beast. Yeah, I like that. All right, there we go. So while I've got this color on my sponge, I'm going to up offset. Yeah, yeah, yes I am. I'm just going to commit to it. Look at me, overthinking it. And I'm only doing it with a dirty sponge. I'm not um, going out of my way to add too much paint.
so that it's got this two-tone sort of shadow to it. This one. Radio. That's a little bit dodgy, but it works. I'm okay with this. Yeah, <laughs> Linda's just commented, all of this uh, chess talk is a bit highbrow. I agree, chess is not my chosen sport either. But, and as, as clearly by all of this conversation I'm having about chess pieces. Um, now, I'm just looking for a fine black pen to do a little doodling. Um, is this fine black pen going to be enough? Absolutely. And I'm going to get the good old-fashioned cheats way today and just do a little bit of doodling using my stencil. Now, do I want to do the whole thing? Am I going to do half? I'm super loose on doing this. So, for those of you just tuning in, welcome, welcome. My name is Natalie and this weekend, as part of the great international craft show, the online show with Craft Alive, we are doing... Um, some fantastic specials every day and today's special we have got 15% off of stencils and we have got 15% off of Tim Holtz products, 15% off Vicky Bouchon products, 15% off of dyes as well over at nataliemay.com.au and you can get those things there which is really cool. Um, free classes every day right here. I will be back again at 1.30 uh, and as I normally do when I do these videos, is I will put a, a, a photograph of the finished piece up on Facebook and I will link the products used in the comments so you can find them easily enough if you would like to purchase. Um, we have been established for quite many years. We are not a new store by any means. Um, we specialise in customer service, we specialise in free workshops, we also specialise in getting the latest and greatest craft supplies out that you want and that's really, really important um, because you are our customer and it's all about you guys. We are a lovely little team here that love a laugh. We are good friends. We are based here, a little shop in Adelaide. So I have moved from my spare bedroom to uh, to being right here, and I absolutely love it. So we have a. Sorry, I'm just going to zoom out a bit because I just realised I started doing something. There you go, Karen. There we go. Um, Yes, so we are a, a, a lovely little online business. We teach classes here in Adelaide and we love what we're doing. So the flat rate postage is $11.95 for under three kilos. If you are f from New Zealand or overseas, you are international, um, I have not activated our no judgment postage, but you can build and we will credit your additional postage as required. All right, so I'm loving my little background here. This is actually kind of coming together okay. I would have liked to have gone up like that, but you know, let's be honest, I can't be bothered. So the next thing I want to do is get my people back in, get my horse. Now I'm going to call them what I see them as being, okay? Um, so I feel like I've got a horse. She is, he's quite a strong image. He's a bit more background based, yeah? She's the queen, she's in the middle, she is the best. I feel like that needs to go on that side because of the colour balance. And this little guy's kind of shoved in the middle. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, six of them? Yes. So how do I stick them down? And then I'm going to overlap them a little bit, but I'm going to use a combination of glue, 
and foam dots. So I don't want this one to be super prominent. So it's just going to get straight glue straight down to the background. And I'm just using my Art by Marlene glue. Now, just a bit of a hot tip. Quite a few people asked me when we did the craft show here in Adelaide on the weekend, does the glue clog up? Look, to be perfectly honest, all glue clogs up because it's glue and it's designed to dry, yeah? So, it's going to clog up. But you just stick a pin in the end and it's done. So, he's going to go there. Just holding that down so the glue catches. I feel like this little guy, actually that one's gonna go there and that one's gonna go there. I do like the horse, so I'm gonna stick my horse on next in the right spot. So I'm, I'm just being generous here with my glue in the back. The Art by Marlene glue is my go-to glue at the moment. It's quick, it's easy, and it comes out of the container easily enough. And it dries really, really quick, so. Right, I'm just gonna hold my hand over that, have a quick drink break. Oh, look at all of your comments, and I haven't even looked up. Right. She's going to go in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double foam dot, dot her. So I'm going to, actually I'm going to triple layer. So these little, these little foam dots went out of stock and have come back in again. And they are, I think, $3.85. And they are the current go-to foam dot for me. You will find them in our adhesive section on the website. Um... And they are easy and they're thin, which is what I love. So she's gonna be my main focal, which is why I'm taking her three foam dots high. But I'm just putting the tape on, I'm not gonna use them. Whoops. Bloody hell, hang on. Sorry, I'm a bit sweary and Karen just reminded me there's kids watching. She's the queen, right? She's going to go here. There and there. He's going to go there. And he's going to go here. Righty-o. So art journaling is about using the stamps, using the things that we have at home, using the... Buying new things because, like, seriously, you have to have them. Hello, Delphina. Hello, my love. Nice of you to join us. What time do you call this? Uh, and yes, so we we have got lots of. There are lots of different ways of using all the things. Um, these are, you know, these are just techniques that you can use in an art journal. But this would look great on a card. This this fun technique. Take one of these images. The same techniques for your background. I'm layering. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to stick him down next. Um, you can, yes, take all of these techniques that you are, you know, you're learning and you're being reminded of in these live Facebooks and apply them to your chosen sport. So if you are an art journaler, yes, excellent. You can do this on cards. You can do this on scrapbook layouts. You can make this happen. however you like. But the colour combinations that I've used in the background are really important. Do I want the horse's nose over the top of his head? I think so. He's going to go there. My queen... Yeah, actually, at $3.85 for a packet, you can never have enough is pretty accurate. Oh, you know what? He needs to go over more. Have I done it? Have I stuck it down and it's too late? Shit. 
this. All right, I just peeled all of that off because I put it in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue my foam dots because I took all the sticky off. Don't tell anyone. Okay, so even heroes make mistakes too, yeah? So drip glue everywhere. That's better. Hold it, let the glue catch. Where does she go? Over here. Oh, bloody hell. Hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. I've got glue from ear to ear. She's going to go... I'm just holding that down for pressure. Bear with me. She's going to go... Here. This little dude's going to go here. So I'm just going to put something on that for weight. My watercolours. Right. Foam dot. Foam dot. Foam dot. Oh, don't do that, Natalie. Half a foam dot. So 15% off stencils will be automatically calculated at the checkout. So the brands that we are talking about are Dina Wakeley, Stencil Girl, Funky Fossil. Crafters Workshop. Paper Rose. Feel like that's a good spot for him okay lots and lots and lots okay happy with that happy with that happy with that there is a um a title around here somewhere sarcasm is like chess Mo most people know how to play um offsetting the grid has made the page pop yeah it certainly did didn't it i agree so i'm just going to fussy cut this we did trim it but i feel like it's got a little bit too much white showing and I need to bring it down. So this is one of the sentiments, the cheeky sentiments that are in this set. Um, and I reckon it's just going to go down here, up here, up here, down here. And then it will get, I'll do a little border of black around it. Um, in the middle. Okay. There we go. So, lots of little techniques in this one. We have got watercoloured stamped images. We have got painting and stenciling in our background. Um, I am going to just do a little bit of scribble in here just to kind of ground them a little bit because, you know, that's how I roll and it's my art journal and I like to do that. Um, but using something that, you know, you wouldn't normally, you might look at on the shelf and go, what the heck am I ever going to use that for? Well, these little stamps and stencils are going to make some wonderful men's cards. Um, they would make a fantastic grungy mail page. I really, really like it. Um, I'm really actually quite happy with this. Um, and it's something completely different that I wouldn't normally do. And for me, that takes me out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm gonna bring it up to camera, show you some of these details. So just to talk through the techniques that we did, we stamped our image onto cardstock. Then we watercolored our images using the super fine Altenew oh, watercolor brushes. Excellent watercolor brushes. You will find them in the tools section. I use the Altenew watercolour paints. These are genuinely my go-to. This set has lasted me 
probably four years now and I use them a lot, maybe three years. Maybe that was an exaggeration. Um, brilliant. We stenciled our background here using neutral tones such as desert sand and tobacco, similar colours to our craft journal. I then used this stencil to do night, which is the little navy blue, and then a combination of two Art by Marlene colours where I mixed together Heaven and Police across the bottom here. So we offset those to give it a pop. And same as our chest pieces through the middle. And I could have continued those over. We could have masked that off and built that up to the side. But, you know, you couldn't be bothered watching me do that. Uh, and then just a little bit of doodling. So you can make these things work. It's something completely different to what I would have normally done. But stamped images in your... Stamped images in your journals can look awesome. So get onto it. So jump online today, Friday the 14th of July, nataliemay.com.au. You will get 15% off of stencils that we've just used, 15% off of dyes, Vicky Bouchon products and Tim Holtz products. It does exclude classes and events. Uh, the no judgment postage applies after your first order. Make sure you do pay postage on at least one order and take a moment just to check that you've done that. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you all back here at 1.30 Adelaide time to do another fantastic little free mini class for you. Have a lovely morning.